Oxwich Methodist Church Holiday Club Jungle Jamboree. Swag! Every time somebody says Jungle Jamboree, we have to pretend to be a jungle animal. So I'm going to be a parrot today. Anyway, I'm sorry I'm on my own. Hillary's busy somewhere. She, she seems to be looking for something. I don't know what she's what she's lost. She'll be with us in a minute. But anyway, in the meantime, we're going to have lots of fun. Everybody's here. Nikki's here. Kevin's here. Um, Liz is here. Grandma Watts here. Pete and Holly are here. Uh, oh, I know what we'll do. Why don't we have another quick look at Liz's memory verse from yesterday? The Lord is gracious and compassionate. Slow to anger and rich in love. Psalm 145 verse 8. The Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and rich in love. Psalm 145 verse 8. Thank you, animals. Thank you, Liz. That was great. Can you remember the memory verses? Now, what's next? It's Hilary. Hiya. Hi. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry to interrupt. Hello, everybody. It's lovely to see you again at Jungle Jamboree. Squack! But I really need you to help me. I've been looking everywhere for my phone. Have you seen my phone? No, I haven't, I haven't seen well, it. Well, seen are, it. are you it sure? Are you so sure? Well, have yeah. you seen my bag? Have you seen my bag? It uh, must be in my yes, bag. Your bag's here. It's just under the oh. table. I really, I really, you think your phone's in there? Yeah, well, I really need my phone. Well, what, well why do you need it so well, urgently? Because, I'm just doing this for the I know, and I'm so sorry, but this is really important because Neville's missing. Neville's missing? Yes, yeah. Where's yeah. he? I am oh, seeing him all morning, I don't know where he yeah. is, and I'm, I'm, I'm really concerned about where he is. I really am. I'm sure he'll be just, fine. Just hold us. Well, if I, can, you... if I can find my phone, then we can get everybody to ring around and see if we can find yeah, out okay. where he is. Yes, yeah, okay. okay. What's going on in there? Oh, just normal stuff. Lavender handbags. You found to be so Oh gosh. He'll be up against the fence somewhere. He's eating a banana he's or not, something. He's not. He's not. And anyway. He, he always, he, and anyway, there's a hole in the jungle jamboree fence. Ah! So he's out in the jungle probably somewhere, and it could be anywhere now. Just hold on to that. Okay. Okay. But can we just can no. we just do the, ooh, a mango? Ooh. Can we please concentrate on this? It's it's most I, important. I, I, know, I know, I know. But get, get, why did why don't we just do this first and then and then we'll go and look? But we need to go and find him. It's most important. I know, but are you saying that this the... is more important than Aaron Neville? <sighs> no, no, you're right. right no, let's okay. let's go right. and find him. So what we need to do we is need we need to find, find my phone, phone and then. We can ring around. You can ring well, Kevin and I. Okay. I'll ring Liz and now I'm just right, when did I last have my phone? Oh, right, okay. I wonder if Neville's got my phone. Right, okay. Uh, shout, I wonder if he knows Neville, Neville, do you know where my phone is? Neville oh. Right, you've got your right. phone. So you need That's to it. who did I say? Yeah. Kevin and I, Liz yeah, and Nick. Okay. <sighs> Neville Oh, oh. oh, oh thank Neville. goodness. Oh, Thank goodness he's safe. He's safe. Oh, that's oh, good. Give I'll me that give banana. Him, yeah, give him I'll a give banana. him the mango as well. No. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm so I'll glad he's safe. Mango. I'm sorry to interrupt. I'll see you all later. Right. Come on, Neville. I've got some fruit for you. Oh, well, thank goodness he's okay. I better go and try and mend that fence. Anyway, in the meantime, let's have a song, should we? Welcome to Jungle Jamboree! Are you ready to rock and roll? Yes! Going on a jungle, a jungle jamboree We're going on a jungle, a jungle jamboree It's gonna be fun, so come along with me And again We're going on a jungle, a jungle jamboree Elephant's call, see the giraffe standing proud and tall. You know, God created them all, all creatures, great and small. But above 
Crocodile's jaw, the eagle's flying, he's about to soar. You know, God created them all, all creatures, great and small. But above them all, God loves us even more. Going on a jungle, a jungle jamboree. Going on a jungle, a jungle jamboree. Oh, we're really enjoying that song. Time to go back and see what Grandma wants doing. Me the Wolf family. Me the Wolf family. Me the Wolf family. Me the Wolf family. A happy, wacky, crazy, ordinary family. Oh, that's also like right, yeah. Me the Wolf family. Me the Wolf family. Me the Wolf family. Me the Wolf family. A loving, caring, sharing, ordinary family. I'm Grandma Wolf. Me the Wolf family. Me the Wolf family. Me the Wolf family. Me the Wolf family. A happy, wacky. The ordinary family. Oh yes, dear. Me the Wolf family. Me the Wolf family. Me the Wolf family. Me the Wolf family. A loving, caring, sharing ordinary family. Uh. Hello. Oh, uh, hello there. Oh, uh, zooming out. Hey, <laughs> hi everybody, and welcome back to another day of Jungle Jamboree. Oh, 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 oh. I got it right today. I remembered the monkeys for the animals for the sounds. And actually, William corrected me yesterday. I actually did a uh, a frog sound. I did a rabbit, rabbit at the end, and I thought I got it wrong. But you know what, William, my grandson, he corrected me and told me actually you can't get frogs in the jungle. So how good is that? Hey. <laughs> Anyway, welcome back to another day. It's day four out here. Now, uh, I thought this today that I thought I might show you some things that I've been working on since we've not been able to uh, get out that much. Now, something I've been doing is making sure I've had plenty of hobbies. You know, custard cream eating. That's one of my favourite hobbies. Uh, going on the pogo stick. Um, roller skating. Uh, trampolining, now that I realise that that's a trampoline over there, <laughs> not a cage, no, no, and um, all sorts of things like that, you know, um, but something else I've been working on is my knitting, yes, I've been doing a great job in knitting William a brand new jumper and his favourite colour of purple, uh, as you can see, I've been getting on it. Hold on, boys and girls, there's something missing. Oh, no, I mean, knitting needles, they've gone missing. I was going to show you. I was going to do a, a demonstration for you all, and now it's gone missing. Oh, I don't know. Um, I'll have to have a look around and see. When, uh, where's my knitting needles gone? Excuse me a moment. Let's have a look. Um, right, hang on. Is it in here? Oh, no, no, not in there. Uh, what about not in the flowers? Uh, no. Oh, I can't finish William's jumper without the knitting needles, can I? Um, in the lavender? Uh, no, not over here. Uh, what about in this bush? Oh, sorry, boys and girls, this isn't very good, is it? I can't find anything. Uh, down here, maybe? Uh, no, no. Oh, dear me. I'm not doing a very good job here today. What about by, down by the bench? Uh, uh. Well, this isn't good at all, is it, boys and girls? What am I going to do? I best keep looking for those knitting needles. What about over here? By the back door. Hang on, down here somewhere. Hello. Oh, hang on, I'm going to ask Lawrence. Lawrence might know. Lawrence, 
Lawrence. Oi, look at Grandma. Where's my knitting needles gone? He's not saying anything. Uh, what am I going to do? I can't finish William's jumper. Wait, I know. I'll give him a call. See if he knows if he's no seen them anywhere. Hang on. All right. Hello. What do you mean? Who is it? It's not Santa Claus, is it? It's Grandma. I'm really, really upset. I've lost something. What is my knitting needles from a jumper that I was making for you? Look, there's your jumper down there. I can't, um, I can't finish it without knitting needles. Well, I've looked round the garden. I've looked round all the plants and looked round out the door. Inside, in the drawers. Well, what? He says they might be in the drawers in here. Let's take a little look and see. See what we can find in here. Right. He says it might be by the kitchen doors. Let's have a look in this drawer down here, folks. They're here. Hang on a second. What's he been doing with my knitting needles down here? I found them here. Yeah, I'm back again. I found them. They were in the drawer. You thought they were chopsticks. They're clearly not chopsticks. Look at them. They're knitting needles. Oh, I don't know. Right, I'll see you in a bit. Can you believe it? Uh, he thought they were chopsticks, the silly boy. I don't know. Chopsticks. They're not chopsticks. They're knitting needles. Anyway, I found them now, so it's okay. Right then, guys. I'll, uh, I'll see you later for our final day. Anyway, see you later. Have fun. Bye. Hello, everyone. Hello. Oh, it was good to see Dave yesterday, Grace. Oh, it, we, he, honestly, he had such a good time when he was here. He could not stop going on about the memory game, honestly. <laughs> but it was a really good game. It, yeah, was, it was great that he brought it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was really nice of him, wasn't it? Well, I've got the game today. Oh, you have the game. That's I exciting. Do. I do. So I thought we'd play a scavenger hunt. Oh, is that, is that like a treasure hunt? Well, kind of. But it doesn't have any clues. So right. I'm going to shout out an object and you have to rush off and see that you can get it as fast as you can. Right, so you're going to shout out an object for me to find and me and the boys and girls back home are going to have a race to see who can bring yes, them here exactly. first. exactly. See who can get them first. Oh, okay. Oh. They're going to be way faster than me. Oh, well. I'll have, have to, I'll have to limber up a little bit. Yeah. That's, that's why I need to do yeah. here. That's it. Okay. Okay. Okay, uh, are everybody you, needs to get there. Are uh, you ready? Okay. I don't know, okay. Mum. Ready. Steady. TV remote. <laughs> Welcome to Jungle Jamboree. Are you ready to rock and roll? Yeah! Got it! Tow! Whoop! Tow! Exhausted. And you could play that again later, or you could press pause now 
and play it yourselves and come up with different things that you could run off and find. Yeah, that's a really good idea. When you've had enough of playing the game, come back here and we've got a story with Kevin. Oh, that sounds lovely. Okay, so bye. bye. Hi everybody, it's Kevin here and welcome to our day four parable story. Today our parable story is all about the lost sheep. Now the lost sheep starts with a shepherd. Now it was a shepherd's job to take care of sheep. And in the times of the Bible, shepherds spent all their time looking after the sheep. They made sure that the sheep would follow them everywhere and they would keep them safe and protect them. Uh, from wild animals as well and would look after them and, and do all they could to make sure their sheep were healthy and well. And this is why Jesus chose a shepherd as being a great example uh, for this particular story. Now, the shepherd in the story had a hundred sheep and every day the shepherd would check on his sheep and he would count them all to make sure that they were all there and safe. All right then, everybody, it's time to see if we've got all our sheepies ready. OK, are we ready, everybody? OK, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, one hundred. Ah, thank goodness. All my sheep are here safe and sound. <laughs> now, the shepherd did this every single day. But then, one day, he went to count his sheep. All right, everyone, roll call. Let's count our sheep and check they're all right and safe. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, 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 forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-n
Come on, on my shoulders. Ready? There we go. Right, off we go. Back we go. Okay, let's go. And so the shepherd carried the sheep on his shoulders back from where he came. Through the forest. Oh, very scary, very scary. Over the rivers. Whee! Down the mountains. Ooh, 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 ooh. And back across the fields until they reached home. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, thank goodness I found my last sheep. Oh, Phyllis, I'm so excited. I think we should have a huge party to celebrate the fact that I found my last sheep. What do you say? Good idea? Yeah. Okay, excellent. Well, let's go and have a party. Come on, everyone. Let's go celebrate. I found my last sheep. This is so brilliant. And so the shepherd uh, celebrated the fact that he had found his lost sheep and was overjoyed that he had found his sheep once more. Anyway, guys, that's the end of our parable story for today. And join us for our final day tomorrow, day five. And we'll see you there for our last story. Bye, everybody. Hello, everyone. Are you having a good time at Jungle Jamboree? Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, I am so pleased that Hilary managed to find Neville. I was quite worried about him. Have you ever lost anything? Anything that was important to you? And did you find it again? How did you feel while it was lost and while you were looking for it? How did you feel when you found it again? And have you ever been lost yourself? Maybe at the supermarket or at the beach or in the park? Have you lost your parents or the fat or the people that you were with? How did that feel? Was that really scary? And when you found each other again, how did you feel then? And I wonder, if you have been lost, did you get lost because you wandered off when you were told you shouldn't? Or was it more that everyone else seemed to have wandered away and you hadn't noticed? I know. Why don't you go and have a chat with the other people in your house now about being lost and found? Have a chat about losing things, how it feels to find things. Maybe you could ask your parents how it feels when they've lost you or one of your brothers and sisters. And when you've had a good chat, come back here. Welcome back. Did you have a good chat about losing and finding things? I remember once losing my daughter at the supermarket. It was very, very scary. I ran up and down the aisles trying to find her, shouting her name. And I was so pleased when I found her. I gave her a, gr I gave her a great big hug. Now, do you remember that all our stories this week are parables, which are stories that tell us something about God? I wonder where God is in this story today. I think God is the good shepherd, the shepherd who cares for all of his sheep and loves them and goes looking for them no matter what they've done. And Jesus says the people who are lost are the people that don't know him, the people who don't count Jesus as their friend. He searches and looks for all those people so that everyone can know him. So I think that must mean that we're like one of the sheep. And if we're like the sheep, which sheep are you? Are you one of the 99 that's safely in the field? One of the ones that knows Jesus? Or are you one of the ones that's lost? One that's wandered off? One that doesn't know Jesus yet? Isn't a friend of Jesus? If you'd like to be a friend of Jesus, just need to say a prayer to tell him that, that you want to be his friend. But if you'd like to know a bit more about it, you can go onto our website and download our sheets for today, where there's some puzzles and quizzes and questions about today's story, and also some information about knowing Jesus as your friend. Well, it's been great having a chat with you today, but I think it's time for a craft now, and Di has a craft for us today. Today we're going to make a parrot, a twirly parrot. And as you can see, it's got feathers on both sides. So let's see how we make Percy Parrot. 
First thing you need to do is cut out his body. So out of some quite stiff cardboard, you need to, to cut out the body shape, which you'll find on the template. And then on his body, you've got two lines which you need to cut. Now, you probably could get a grown-up to help you with this bit, but what I do is I score down the line, a pair of sharp scissors, and then cut the slats. two slats ready to poke feathers through. So we're going to do the tail first. So for your tail, you're going to need some coloured pieces of paper. One, two, three, four different colours. And you lay them one on top of another. Fold them in half. Like so. And then open up again and you thread your paper pieces through the slat at the bottom of Mr. Parrot. Maybe a tiny bit bigger that slat, I think. So they slide through easily. So in and pull them through until you get to your crease and when you've got to your crease you fold them over. Now to make your your tail look more fanned out you're going to need your PVA glue again and your glue brush. Open up, up your pieces of paper like that little dab of glue here and fold down your first piece and I'm going to fold it so it sticks out that way. A bit more glue on there and bring your next one down and fold that down so that you can still see the yellow but the red's on top. A bit more glue and you bring your green one down. Obviously you can use any colour papers you want. Fold that one down and then fold number four down. Turn your parrot over and do the same on the other side. So you open up your, your feathers with a bit of glue. get your scissors and you can trim up your feathers just on the edge like that so that you've got a bit more feathery shape to them. Turn it over and do it on the other side. And don't worry don't worry about it all being neat and all being the same size, it'll still look lovely and feathery like that. And then you're going to do exactly the same for his wings. Fold in half, get your crease, push it through, fold it over, and then exactly the same again. Give your glue. One, two. Same on the other side. And there you have some wings. Then you can give the wings a little trim. Turn them over and do the other side. So that's your lovely colourful tail and your colourful wings. And now your parrot needs his beak. So you've got Two beaks cut out, one for each side. Pop 
your bee con. Turn them over and match the other beak on this side. So there's your beak. And then as you can see on the one that I've done earlier, I've done a little line there just to give a little bit of shape to his beak. So it just goes round like that. Then you can draw his eye on, or if you've got a googly eye, you can stick your googly eye on. Oh, isn't that great? You put that beak on, do his eye, and suddenly he looks like a parrot. And there's lots of very, very colourful parrots in the jungle. And then to finish him off so that you can hang him up, you've got to get your mum or dad or grown up to help you. Just push a hole through his head using something sharp. And then a bit of wool or a little bit of string, whatever you've got at home that you could use. Or you could maybe use a pipe cleaner if you haven't got any coloured wool or string. Thread that through, just make, tie it off. And there you've got a twirly parrot. Feathers both sides and a beak both sides. And if you made lots of them and hung them all up together, you could make a mobile with parrots on. And that would look a lot like the jungle. Lots and lots of parrots. So I hope you have fun making one of those. Today I'm going to show you how to make a dinosaur. And here's the one that, that I've made as an example. My green dinosaur. He's made out of half a paper plate. So you'll need a large paper plate, you'll need to fold it in half, make a crease and cut along the crease so that you've got half a plate. And to, to cover my plate I scrunched up green tissue paper. So you need your PVA glue again. You put your plenty of glue on scrunch up your pieces of tissue and cover the half the paper plate all over with these green scrunches. If you don't want to use tissue paper you can paint it green or you can colour it in green with your felt pens or your crayons, whatever you want to use. And when that's completely covered you can add all your other parts to your dinosaur. And now that I've finished covering him all over with the green scrunchy paper, it's time to make him look like a dinosaur. From your template you will need to cut out two back legs and two front legs. And you'll need to cut your tail out and your head out. Now when I cut my head out I also cut out an extra piece in yellow but you could colour this in or paint this in if you wanted to. You can either do out of thin paper or some out of paper or some thin cardboard. And then I drew the dinosaur features in. I copied off the, the um, template sheet and coloured it in myself. And then I did the same for the tail, a little extra bit of yellow. And as you can see on the one that I've already finished, I even put a few spots on just to make him look more interesting. So you can just decorate him up however you like to make him make him look good. So we take Mr Dinosaur's tail and with our glue, pop some glue along the side and his tail goes just at the end of the plate there like that. And then we put a little bit of glue on his neck and that comes almost to the bottom of the plate, just a about there so he looks like he's looking backwards. That's his tail. He looks like he's sitting down with his feet all curled up underneath him. But now we're going to add his feet. Now on his feet 
I've put some white paper over the end and I've drawn over it with a marker pen to make them look like pointy toenails. So here's one that I haven't finished colouring just to show you. So I stuck on the paper and then I just drew round the marker pen just to make them look like pointy toenails. You don't have to cut the white paper out, you can just draw straight on, but I thought the white looked rather nice, like the dinosaur claws. And then we need to stick his feet on. You have to concentrate a little bit with all these legs, because they're all different shapes, these legs. So this, the, the largest leg is the one that goes on the front, at the back. So put some glue on the top, and this sticks like so there's your tail a little bit of a gap and then put your big leg on and he, it comes quite well up like that so that's the first one on and this leg goes at the back like that so we're going to put some glue on that one just at the top and when you stick this one look to see whether it's level so it's got to point that way and whether it looks level with this foot here and press. So that's his back legs. Here's his front leg. Front leg at the front. And that one goes about that far in, just there like that. And I found that if you draw a few little lines on, it just helps to give you the the shape of the leg. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. And then the last leg, this funny little shaped one, that's going here at the back. So pop some glue on the wrong side, sorry the right side. And then that's going to go underneath here, pointing forward. So there's your four legs. One, two, three, four. So now we've got two dinosaurs. So I hope you have lots of fun having to go at one of those. Okay, so now we've got our joke slot and uh, I've got the um, joke parrot uh, to tell if, if the jokes are any good or not. And you, oh, you've got your helmet on. Uh -huh. Extra protection against the, the beak. Parrot, I but so. I think you're not going to need that parrot because this is a very Good joke. Oh, oh, it's Neville's joke, it's isn't Neville's it? Neville's joke. He's Brilliant. been practicing. Let's see. For it ages. I, but I wonder if. Neville, can we have your joke? He's written it out, has he? Lovely writing. Look. Oh, Look at that. very gorgeous. But yes. I wonder, Neville, do you want to read it out yourself? Oh. Yeah. Do you know, he's very helpful, but he's, but very, he's very shy. He is shy. Yeah, shy. Yeah. Yeah. Are okay. you sure? Oh, yeah. No, no, no. All right. Okay. I'll read it out. This okay. is a good one. You won't need that. Okay, what's a gorilla's favourite biscuit? I don't know. What is a gorilla's favourite biscuit? Chocolate chip. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Get it? Terrible. Oh, <laughs> luckily I had the hat on. I think, Neville, that deserves... Another lion bar! Do gorillas like lion bars? This gorilla does. Well done, Neville. Okay. Thank you very much. I think we've got some jokes from you now. Let's hear them then. Yeah. So we've got some more jokes? More jokes. Sent in? Yes, this one's come from Noah. Noah. And Noah's a long way away in Winchester. Winchester? So, Winchester. Well done, Winchester. Noah. Uh, first one from Noah then. Okay. Um, what kind of monkey can fly? I don't know. What kind of monkey can fly? A hot air baboon. Hot air baboon. <laughs> well done, Noah. Well done, Noah. Right. All the way now, from Winchester. That's right. Okay. Now, we've got one here from Adam. Now, we're going to a different level here. Right. Because it's not a jungle joke, oh. but it's one that Adam made up himself. Ooh. So, here we go. Okay. Your thinking caps on. Well done, Adam. Which era had the most food? I don't know. Which era had the most food? Sausages. 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 Very good, Very yes. Clever. Well done, Adam. <laughs> okay, and last two now from Jack and Rory. Okay, so I know Jack and Rory. You do. What's the nickname for someone who put their right hand into a lion's mouth? The nick. 
I don't know. What's the nickname for someone who put their right hand into a lion's mouth? Lefty. Get it? <laughs> Lefty. A good one. Okay, and the final one. Mm -hmm. Jack and Rory again. What do you call a snake wearing no clothes? I don't know. What do you call a snake wearing no clothes? Snaked. Snake. <laughs> good one. Well done. More jokes tomorrow. Okay. Where's Pete? He's late. Oh, there you are. Hi, Pete. Hello, Holly. Are you okay, Pete? Yes, I'm fine. Uh, you don't sound fine. You sound like you're in a bad mood. Did you get out of bed the wrong side? I'm not in a bad mood. And if you're only going to say silly things, then I suggest you keep your mouth shut. Oh, I've never seen you like this before. What's wrong? Can I help? No. Oh, where is it? You've lost something, haven't you? How did you know? Where is it? Is it at your house? Give it back or I'll tell. I haven't got it. What are you looking for? Don't give me that. You know exactly what I'm looking for because you've got it. I haven't. Then how do you know it's missing? What? Oh, stop. I'm getting all confused. What are you looking for? My favourite hat, of course. The one Dad gave me. Have you seen it? Yes. Where? On your head. Don't be daft. I'm not silly enough to look for my hat when it's been on my head all this time. Oh, yes, you are. What? Really? Oh, yes, Holly. Thank you. I'm so happy. I thought I'd lost it, and it's my favourite. Phew. I think I'll go and have a big bowl of ice cream to celebrate. Bye. Bye, Pete. Enjoy your ice cream. Oh, thank you, Pete and Holly. They're talking about food yet again. I love ice cream, especially if it's chocolate. Well, we're here for uh, day four of our memory verse, that jungle jamboree. Ooh! And so, um, um, excuse me a minute. There's, there's something happening over there in the pond. It looks like a little lamb. It looks like it's. Don't worry, little lamb. I'll save you. Um, I bought my string in case I went climbing up rocks or something. I'm not really sure. Hold on. Here it comes. Oh, right then. Um, just pull you back. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. It's okay. I've got you. Oh, little lamb. Poor oh, little thing. All wet and soggy. What have you got round your neck? A little message. The Son of Man has come to seek and save those who are lost. Luke chapter 19, verse 10. This must be today's memory verse. Thank you, little lad. Let's have a go. I think we could do some actions to this one. Now, the Son of Man, that's Jesus. So, Jesus died on the cross, didn't he? So we could we could do this. The Son of Man has come to seek and save those who are lost. Luke chapter 19, verse 10. Try it with me. I forget. The Son of Man has come to seek and save those who were lost. Luke chapter 19, verse 10. Well done, everybody. I think I'm ready for a little prayer now. Are you? Follow me up to the prayer tent. Come on, little lamb. See you in a minute. Welcome back to our prayer tent at Jungle Jamboree. Ooh. Today in our prayers we're going to be thinking of other people. 
and I brought with me a pot of buttons to help us along the way. I wonder if you've got a pot like this. I've collected mine from buttons that have fallen off cardigans and jumpers and um, some of the crafts that I've been doing at home sometimes. Take a button, hold it tight, and feel what it feels like. It's hard, and it reminds me of those people who are finding things difficult. So I want you to remember somebody that you know maybe who's feeling lonely, or sad, or worried. Think of that person and ask God to help them. Our buttons are used to fasten our clothes together, aren't they? And in the same way, God wants us to join together. I want you to think about somebody who's fallen out, or got cross with each other. And I want you to ask God to bring them peace. Now look at the number of holes your button has got. Mine's got four. So we're going to think of four things that we want God, we want to thank God for. Thank you God for the sunshine. Thank you God for the walks we can go on. Thank you God for our friends. Thank you for our lovely homes to live in. Now look at the colour of your button. I want to thank God for the water. That waters our plants and we can have a nice bath in. Now, perhaps you can take a handful of your buttons and sort them out into ones that are the same colour. Some red ones there, pink one and some purple ones, some white ones, some green ones, some blue ones and yellow ones. They remind me of our family. And we want to thank God for our families and ask that they live together and love each other. Finally, take a little handful of buttons again. Have a look at them. See how different they are. They might have a different number of holes or be a different size. Maybe they're sparkly. Or maybe they've got a little rim on them. And that reminds us that we are all different. And so we thank God that we're all different and all unique. And we've all got something special to bring to our world. Amen. So, I think it's time for another song. Feeling like getting those actions going. So, off we go. Let's go and have a sing. It's the dinosaur song. Let's take a trip back in time. So many, many years ago, walking on the earth with supermassive animals with teeth and claws and fur. And some could swim and fly and crawl But way more radical Is that God who made them is alive And greater than them all God is bigger than a dinosaur Taller than a dinosaur Stronger than a dinosaur God is
couldn't it? God is bigger than a dinosaur Taller than a dinosaur Stronger than a dinosaur Rawr, rawr, rawr. God is older than a dinosaur More mighty than a dinosaur More awesome than a dinosaur Oh wow! Rawr, rawr, rawr. And God's no fossil, he's not We've had another great day, haven't we? At we have. uh, Jungle Jamboree. Squawk! Yeah. Didn't start very well, though, did it? Not really. No, we thought no. we lost Neville. We did, and I got a bit panicky for a bit, yeah. but it was all okay it because was. he was fine. He was, yeah. Although he's, he's still a little he's bit, still shy, a bit shy, isn't he? Yeah. Gives Give a wave, him. Neville. Oh, yeah. He's very shy. Yeah. yeah. But everybody seems to have been losing things today, don't they? Oh, I think so. Grandma, what? She lost her knitting needles. She did. Her grandson, William, mm -hmm. put them in the kitchen drawer because he thought they were chopsticks. chopsticks. Yeah. yeah. And Pete? Pete. He, what did he lose? Oh, Remember? Yeah, he was in a bad mood with Holly because he lost his hat. And where was it all the time? On his head. On his head. Yeah. Yeah. Kevin, reminded, Kevin reminded us about a Bible story, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Another parable. Yes. About a shepherd who had loads of sheep. He did. But he lost one yeah in fact he had a hundred sheep the bible tells us you'd think he wouldn't be very bothered if he got 99 other sheep and he only lost one i know but kevin reminded us didn't he that the yeah. shepherd cared for he loved all his sheep yes he did. in fact all those hundred he knew them all by name he did so what yeah. can you remember what the name of the one that was missing was phyllis phyllis yeah that's yeah. right and liz taught us a memory verse didn't she that's right yeah can you remember it I think so. Shall we have a go? Yeah. How does it start? Uh, the Son of Man. Oh, the Son of Man's Jesus. That's right. Isn't he? Yeah. That's okay. It. So we can do that. So okay. are you ready? Yeah. The, the Son, Son of Man has come to seek and to save those who are lost. And it's Luke, Luke chapter 19, 19 <laughs> verse 10. Ten. Oh, you really got it. that wrong then. You got it in the end. That's uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. And then Nikki talked a bit more about the story and she explained that the shepherd in that story was Jesus. That's right. And Jesus wants all of us to be his friends, yeah. not to be like lost sheep. That's right. She said Jesus is the good shepherd and he cares for us, every one of us, and he knows our names. He knows my name, Max. And he knows my name, Hilary. And, and he knows, knows all, your, all your names. names. Yeah. Brilliant. Great stories. Yeah. So, tomorrow's the last day at Jungle Jamboree. Squack! Oh, we've had such a good time, haven't we? We hope you have. We certainly have. Yeah, yeah. so what do we need? Anything we need for, for craft? For tomorrow, for yeah. craft? Yeah. Shall I ask Neville? Neville will know, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh. oh. He's there. Neville. <laughs> He's so helpful. He's very yeah. helpful. He yeah. got it before I asked him. So all you need tomorrow is either a piece of paper or a piece of card. White is best probably, but anything will do. And some uh, felt-tip pens or current crayons, anything. Yeah. Okay. So we'll see you tomorrow for day five of Jungle Jamboree. Squack! See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.
to know a bit more about the story, you could download some of our sheets from the website where there's some puzzles and quizzes and some more questions that you could think about.